How are you all doing? My name is Vertic Designs and for this OBS tutorial I'm going to show you the best settings for streaming to YouTube and Twitch. This is for people with slow machines and people who are running computers which may struggle to get high performance. What I'm going to show you is the way I've set up mine and you can set up yours similar to mine. Since I don't have a game open I'm just going to open this one so we can use it as an example. And then you want to go to settings. Alright, so the very first one is the general settings. This is just for the language and theme. They're the only two that I've changed. From default, I changed it to dark theme. And then we have some other settings which I didn't really change. But maybe this one might be one of them that you might look at. This will pretty much hide your cursor over projects if you don't want it to show in game. Or if you don't want it to show when you're in desktop mode. Moving on to the next one, this is the stream. This is how you connect your account to OBS by selecting a streaming service. And then you want to go to the service and find the one that you stream to. If the primary one doesn't work for you, then go with backup. That should usually have less people, but primary should work. They've added this one just in case the first one doesn't work. Now, if you don't see your streaming service, then you can take this one, which will say show all streaming services, and this will give you a lot more options. Moving on to the next one, this is the output. Go to output mode and select this to advanced. And once you've done that, you want to go on the streaming tab. We start off with audio first. So if you only stream with the game sound on, then just put it to one. But if you also have your mic in, then select number two and that will record both tracks. For the encoder, I selected NVENC H.264. You can use the other one. They both should be just as good, but I use this one. And you want to leave this ticked. Next one is rescale output. You want to take this one. Moving on to the most important part of streaming, this is the bitrate. And the bitrate usually uses two most common ones, and that is CBR and VBR. The difference between both of them is CBR is constant bitrate, and VBR is variable bitrate, which means it can either stay at an average bitrate, or it can go a bit higher and go to a maximum bitrate. And this pretty much makes it so that the bitrate has little peaks between where it stays average or it goes higher. Lossless is designed to keep the quality and it doesn't really compress the video. So if you're recording and you want high quality, I would suggest this one right here. But for streaming, I would suggest CBR. For the bitrate, I set mine to 2700. The reason for this is because 2000 is a little bit lower and I know that I can stream at this bitrate and my computer will do fine. Same as the internet, the internet speed is high enough to be able to do this. And it is a good bitrate for 720p. Normally, if you're streaming at 720p, stay between 2000 or 2800. Don't go any higher than that because if your internet isn't as fast, then you will struggle to get that. And because of this, you will lose frames when you are streaming and the stream will freeze a lot. That is something you should avoid. The easiest way to find out what your internet can handle is first of all, do an internet speed test. Once you found out your results, I would suggest to search up a stream calculator where it will tell you the bitrate. I will probably put a link in the description to one of them. If you would like to do that, then you can. But normally, if you're going with 1080p, it will usually be around 3000 and above. But this also depends on the frame rate. If you're going to be with 60 FPS, 1080p, then it's going to be a lot higher than that. But we are going to go with 2700 because that is really good. And like I mentioned before, we are aiming for high performance. So in the present, you want to set this one to high performance rather than high quality. Profile is also going to be set to main rather than high. Level is going to be on auto. In the video option, we are just going to make sure that this is 1280 by 720, same as the output resolution. The difference between both of these is pretty much if you stream at 1080p, for example, if I streamed my desktop, but I wanted OBS to downscale my video, I would change this one right here. 
For the downscale filter, this is going to be on sharpened scaling, 16 samples. And then, of course, the FPS is going to be at 30 because most of us struggle to actually get 60. And finally, we get to the last one, which is the advanced. This one you don't really change. It is by default already done for you. You just leave it as it is.